Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guy from Techstore, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest HP Pavilion gaming series of laptops. It is the EC Pavilion 15 gaming laptop that we're going to show it to you today, and we have it hands on with us. After watching this video, you will know why to buy it and why not to buy it. As well as, if you've already purchased the laptop, how to put a hard drive in it, uh, upgrade the RAM, SSD, do the cleaning of the laptop, and do literally everything that you want to do with this particular laptop. So let's get started. So it's black in color, uh, there is no color variant on this particular model here. Uh, so over here it will have a matte black finish, jet black and the pavilion logo is engraved here in a ultraviolet uh, color and the same continues with the HP logo over here also. It's got that ultraviolet feel to it. Once you open the laptop, you are uh, seeing a two-sided nano bezel. The web camera is here uh, with a dual uh, array microphone and a HD camera. The screen here is a fantastic uh, full HD IPS panel screen, 144Hz uh, refresh rate and uh, 250 nits value. It's an anti-glare screen and the viewing angles are fantastic. Uh, the speakers are front firing, uh, you have the speakers right up front here and the power button is also outside not integrated on the keyboard. The keyboard quality is fantastic here, uh, the, the swiftness of the keys, the reflex and uh, the kind of travel, the key travel is absolutely fantastic on this particular keyboard. It's got only single color ultraviolet backlit keyboard, uh, it does not have RGB and uh, the touchpad is uh, relatively smaller if you compare with most of the gaming laptops. It's rectangular in size, it's a unipad multi gesture touchpad and uh, it's got the Ryzen 5 5000 series uh, certification and uh, GTX and 144Hz printed over here with MS Office. On the left side, uh, you have a very oddly placed charging pin connector on the side actually, you could have could placed inside actually. And you have a USB 3.0 port and no other ports whatsoever on the left. On the front, again, there are no ports whatsoever. And on the right, uh, you have a memory card reader, you have headphone mic combi, you have a C type port, you have a hard drive indicator, that's a good thing. And then you have a battery and a power indicator. Ethernet, that's another good thing that this laptop has. You have a USB 3.0 port and a HDMI port. The design is uh, pretty standard, uh, it's not very slim as are most of the gaming laptops. As you can see, this is much thicker. On the rear, uh, you have the vent that you can see over here. We are not very happy with this kind of uh, vent arrangement here because most of the heat that is generated has to be dissipated and it should be open to the air. The screen basically blocks if you are playing very high end games or doing a lot of video editing, the amount of uh, heat that is generated is uh, a concern on this particular thing. So the thermals uh, HP would have worked better but that's the way it is. So this is the way the thermals look. On the rear uh, there is a rudder over here. The rudder is uh, pretty much uh, upright so that it will give you a good amount of angle and there are two rudders over here. The design is pretty clutter free, only 4 screws and over here 3 more screws. This entire vent area is for dissipation of heat again. So this is a video shot from the webcam of the HP Pavilion Gaming 15 EC series of laptops. And the camera quality is not all that great actually, if you would ask me, because there is a good amount of lighting over here. But still uh, there are drains and uh, we would have expected a better camera on this. The audio quality although is very good because of the dual array microphone. So, an average, uh, above average kind of a camera, not a great camera per se. So, let's check the audio quality of the HP Pavilion EC series of laptops and here it is, the Bang & Olufsen speakers inside. very loud basically they are clear uh, but bass would have been better and uh, they could have been louder so an average to above average kind of a speaker over here with uh, bang and alpherson uh, marking on this particular laptop let's see if the laptop opens with one hand operation here very much yes pretty sturdy bass i can say that 
but still it's ideal you get the hinges uh, loosened after one one and a half years of usage first thing first uh, we need to flip the laptop and uh, we need to remove the screws that are visible over here four screws one two and three screws over here so we'll start removing with these screws here the hinges screw Now take a triangular prior like this and uh, start protruding from one of the sides. And just remove the base panel here. These are the inners of the HP Pavilion EC series of laptop, the 2000 series. The part where the SSD is and the RAM is, is hidden over here. Just need to remove this stickering and uh, everything will be visible over here. So this is the SSD, this is the RAM bay area, this, this is the hard disk bay area over here, the battery, this is the keyboard connector cable, this is a touchpad, this is the VGA cable connector, this entire thing is the heat sink, dual fan over here. You would have been happier if the fans would be placed distant apart instead of being together. This is the way the design is for this particular laptop. So let's start uh, one by one. So first thing first, we'll remove the battery here, screws have to be removed and this is the connector. So just need to pull it out. First maybe remove the battery like this and then pull the connector out and the connector will come off. So this is the battery that you need to buy if you want to replace it. It is a PG03XL. The power ratings are 11.55 volts and 52.5 uh, watt hours. We would have expected a little bigger battery because of the kind of processor that it has and the graphics card. But this is the battery that you need to buy. PG03XL. Let's keep it on one side. Now coming to the hard drive area, this is the part where the hard drive can be installed. You just need to remove it. This particular connector over here, remove it like this. And uh, then there are these two screws. And then there are screws over here and the hard disk connector comes off. So you can put a hard drive over here. We'll show you how. So you can take up to 2 terabyte uh, 2.5 slim SATE hard drive. You cannot put a normal thicker uh, SATE hard drive on this particular thing, laptop hard drive. It has to be a slim up to 2 terabyte. It can be a Seagate or a Western Digital or any other brand. So this is the hard drive that you have to take and we'll show you how to insert it. Now, this already comes with uh, a holder inside. Need to remove these screws here. And uh, you can remove this entire holder out now. Once you remove it, you have to remove this connector also. This is of no use to you. This is just a dummy that they have given. Now you need to put the hard drive. Just need to put this connector onto the hard drive over here like this. And uh, you need to put it like this over here. Now you need to put all the screws. And now you need to put the hard drive back like this. Put the connector on. Close it. Put the screws back. And the hard disk has been put. Now coming to the part where the SSD is, just need to remove this one screw. Say your laptop has only come with a hard drive or a SSD that you want to upgrade. Just remove this one screw. It's held on by the heat sink over here. Just pull it out and uh, you will see the SSD inside. Just remove it because it is held by a glue inside. This is basically a NVMe SSD that uh, HP gives. This is a Western Digital NVMe SN530 which comes by default. So you can take uh, any other SSD, maybe up to 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte SSD and you can install it like this. Put the SSD like this over here and then you need to put the sink, you need to put the screw back. Now coming to the RAM part here, uh, just use your two thumb fingers and uh, if you want to replace existing RAM, you just need to remove it like this, it comes off. It has got a 8GB DDR4 3200 MHz, so you need to buy a X8 PC4 3200 MHz RAM. 16 plus 16, 32GB is the total upgrade capacity, so you can remove this 8GB RAM DIMM and you can put a 16GB here, another 16GB over here, 16 plus 16 will be 32GB in total. So you can just take the RAM and insert it like this and press it, it will hold on to it. Now if you want to remove the processor fan, one, two, three, one fan screw and one and two. This screw is common for both the CPU fans. So if you want to clear, if you want to clean up the fan, 
just need to remove these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 screws and the fan will come off. These are these two power connectors, also they have to be removed. We will show it to you. Let's remove the fan, just remove the power connector like this. Same with this fan also, just need to pull the power connector very slowly, the power connector comes off. So say in a scenario you want to replace the fan, these are the two fans that you need to buy. So the right hand side fan goes first, before which we need to put the connector. And then we need to put the connector on the left side. So in another video, we will show you how to completely remove the motherboard, the heatsink and the keyboard and uh, the speakers are basically here but you need to remove the entire motherboard for you to access the speakers. So in another video, we will show you how to do that. Wi-Fi chip is over here, you just need to remove this one screw and you can change uh, the Wi-Fi chip. This is a Wi-Fi 6 Wi-Fi chip which you can change and utilize. So let's put things back, let's put the battery back. So putting the battery, just need to insert the battery pin connector like this, push it from the rear, put the screws back. So this my friends was a review uh, and a uh, disassembly video of the HP Pavilion 15 gaming EC series. So my final word on this particular laptop. But before that, if you have not subscribed, we will not reply to your comments. Uh, if you want your comments to be replied and suggestions to be given, then you need to subscribe now and hit that bell icon so that you keep getting updates from our YouTube channel. Now, the good thing about this laptop is that it's got a hybrid storage capacity. You can put up to two terabyte HDD SATA hard drive and uh, the connector comes installed, pre-installed inside the laptop itself because separately the connector is around three and a half, four thousand rupees and it is not available also. So that's a very good thing and it has got two bay memory area, dual data rate. So up to 32 GB you can upgrade and it has got a M.2 NVMe Gen 3 uh, SSD. So you can put up to 3000, 3200 Mbps read, write SSD on this particular laptop. The keyboard quality is fantastic. The webcam is average uh, or a little above average, not great webcam. The screen quality again is a uh, delight for this kind of laptop at this price range under 60,000 rupees here in India. It comes pre-installed with uh, Windows 11 and MS Office and uh, this particular variant is having Ryzen 5, the one that we have reviewed. So if you have a Ryzen 7, uh, it will look the same, the process will remain the same. Even if it has got a RTX, the process will remain the same for upgradation and uh, removal of batteries. So the part that we did not like is the part where the thermals are, the heat dissipation is not all that great. So heat dissipation, HP has to work on this particular laptop. The DK series has got a better vent but the hinge is not all that great. All in all, uh, good packaging by HP at this uh, given price point and uh, we look forward to a better design once HP rolls over to the next model. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you liked the videos, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. We keep doing this uh, free work for all you guys to help you out buy new laptops. Before buying you want to have a look at the entire thing. So we do it all for you and uh, we need you to subscribe and help us in this regard. Thank you so much guys.